Hey y'all, uh, welcome back for the second installment. We have the Raspberry Pi here, and today we're going to be putting the laser stuff onto the SD card here. So we're gonna be flashing it with a cool program called Pi Bakery, which uh, kind of simplifies the process of putting on uh, an operating system to your SD card and uh, uploading all the files uh, that need to be in place for the laser to work. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that, so hang tight. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, the program Pi Bakery, which is uh, a really great way to flash uh, Raspberry Pi SD cards. Um, it puts the operating system on, and it also can set up stuff like Wi-Fi, download programs, and set up your, your stuff before you even uh, log on to your Pi for the first time. Um, I've set up a, uh, an import file that we'll be using um, in this process, and it has all the stuff uh, that'll make your Pi run right off the bat with the, the laser stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So first thing you wanna do is go to download. Uh, select your operating system on Mac, and I've already downloaded this, so let's skip to the next step. Okay, let's run through the installer, agree to that. Continue, um, let's just select light here because we don't need the full version. Um, So it's gonna install that. So when it's done, um, we're gonna open it up. Cool. Okay, um, it's gonna ask you to update, um, but for some reason when I updated, uh, it, it stopped working. Um, so I'm gonna click no. Um, if it's far in the future from when this video was made, you should probably click yes, because it's probably been patched, uh, the error that I was getting. Okay, now download the laser recipe uh, that's in the video description, and we're going to be using that for this next. Let's import. Um, and here is the laser recipe.xml, which I told you to download, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to open that up. Um, so, Pi Bakery uh, is a great way to set up your Raspberry Pi to run different applications. So here we have it on the first boot, we want to set up the Wi-Fi. So here you're gonna put your network name, um, your network password, what type of uh, password encryption, or password, whatever. And then your country uh, ISO code. For me it's US, because I live in the United States, but you can look up your ISO code if you live somewhere else. Um, next, uh, the, this Pi Bakery runs the program uh, sudo apt get update and upgrade, and then update again. And then it's gonna get git, so we can install the, the packages. Um, it's gonna get Python, um, numpy, and then it's gonna get Python pip for installations, and then it's gonna install the Adafruit IO, which we use to connect the Google Assistant to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, we're also gonna install the weather IPA, API um, to draw out the weather. Um, and then we're also going to change our, uh, our Raspberry Pi password to something other than Raspberry. So think of a good password and set that because you never want your default password to be Raspberry. And also all, we're going to change the host name to LaserPi just for fun. Uh, then it's going to reboot. Um, and then every time it runs, it's going to run the command uh, Python LaserPi command center. And then next we're going to set up this... Uh, We're going to set up this command. Um, there's three variables here: the I/O user, the I/O key, and the weather key. And I'm going to explain those a little bit more. But these are the three things you need to get uh, in order to connect your Google Assistant to your Raspberry Pi. So, first, we're going to make an Adafruit I/O account. So we're going to head over to Adafruit.io, and we're going to get started for free. Make an account. Um, set all this up. And, uh, and then sign into the account. And then we're gonna show you uh, the next step. Log into your Adafruit IO account. Um, we're gonna make a new feed, and that's what the Raspberry Pi is gonna be looking at when it's uh, trying to um, decide whether it's gonna draw or not. So we're gonna create a new feed. We're gonna name the feed. I'm gonna call it Laser. Um, laser Pi is my description. Create that. Okay. Now we have laser here. So now we have laser here. Um, 
you can see we can uh, add data, which means we can write a value like 0, 1, 2, 3, or any value like lasers um, or my name. Uh, and with the Adafruit.io library, your Raspberry Pi can read these values um, through the internet. So it's kind of like uh, a bool variable, or it's like an online variable I think, for Python. Anyways, um, OK, click View AIO key. And the username and key here are the first two variables we need for our Pi recipe. So write these down or copy paste them onto a notepad. OK, the thir third and final thing we need to look up is your where on earth identifier. This is uh, used for the Raspberry Pi um, to know where to look up the weather for. Uh, so go down to search place, uh, type in wherever you are, for example, San Jose. And if you scroll down, you can see that San Jose has a number of 59426. So so write this number down, uh, and with the two others, your username and your key, we're going to put those into the Pi Bakery, and it should be ready to go. So open up Pi Bakery again, and go over to on every boot. And so this is the command that's going to be running on every boot. Um, so when you turn on your Pi, uh, the first thing you'll do is run this command. And this is something that listens to any changes on the Adafruit I.O. feeds. So what we set up was the laser, so it's going to be listening for the laser feed. Um, so put your IO user here, for me it was Tucker Pi, and then when we got your AIO uh, key, uh, put that there, and then your weather digit key um, that we just got from the EIO site or whatever. Put that here. Um, and then we're going to write it to your SD card. So you're going to hit write, plug your SD card in. Select Raspbian and Light, select your SD card, and click Start Write. It should take about three minutes uh, or less to write the SD card. Um, and then we are going to plug it in to your Raspberry Pi and turn it on. And then that process is a little bit longer because it's got to run a few updates. And it's going to run all of this stuff you see over here on the Pi. So maybe make a copy for that part. Yeah, so when you boot the Raspberry Pi for the first time, it's going to run through this big boot process and it's going to install all the, the scripts and programs and, and libraries it needs. This part takes about 30 minutes, so okay, while your Pi is warming up, uh, let's go over to the phone. So download the IFTTT app, which means if that, then this. Um, so let's open it up. And it's just as a way to connect our Raspberry Pi to our Google Assistant. So we're going to have to go over here to the right and hit uh, My Applets. Um, forget all this stuff. Um, we're going to make our own. So let's say uh, if this, we hit the plus sign right there. Let's search Google Assistant. Now if you have an Alexa, I think this would work too. Let's try yeah, okay, so Alexa would work too. Um, but Google Assistant is what we're going to use. Um, we have to set a trigger, like a simple phrase. I'm going to say, uh, what's the uh, laser, what's the laser weather, yeah. Or another way to say it, like, what's the laser report? Um, and we want to say in response, what do we want the Google Assistant to say in response? Let's go with uh, f all caps, fire, okay, create the trigger. Okay, so that's going to trigger an event, um, and now what's, what's set up the event? So we're going to search for Adafruit.io, Adafruit.io, um, and we're going to send data to the Adafruit.io. So I'm already logged in, but you'll have to log into your Adafruit account that you had just made. Um, so for the weather report, we need to send, let me check, uh, we need to send zero. So we're going to say zero for that, because that is the trigger. Um, now, 
Oh, we need to also select our laser. That is the uh, feed we're going to be sending it to. So let's create that action. OK. We also need to set up an action for the laser analog time and digital time, and then also just a generic message uh, output. So let's do that. So if, same thing, Google Assistant, very simple phrase. OK, here we're just going to say, uh, have Google respond to what's the analog time, and uh, have it say firing laser in response. OK, next we need to set up the response. So again, click Adafruit. We're going to send data to Adafruit IO. And this time, we're going to send the number 1. And again, it's to the laser feed. So click 1, and then we're good there. OK, next is the digital time. So we're going to do the same thing again with the Google Assistant. Click if this, um, set up the Google part. OK, for the trigger, we're going to say, what's the laser time? OK, we're going to be set up the out of fruit IO response again. Uh, this time, we're sending our number two to the laser feed. So send it to the laser. This time, it is a two. OK, and there's one last one to do, which is just a generic laser message. So we do same deal. Google. OK, this time we want to click say a phrase with the text ingredient. OK, we're going to set it up so the laser can write specific messages. Um, so we'll say, OK, Google, laser message, laser Tucker, laser this. You can see it says uh, enter a uh, dollar sign where you'll say the text ingredient. Laser uh, money sign. OK, now we're going to set it up so we can insert that text ingredient into the out of fruit data that we're sending to the laser feed. So click Add Ingredient and hit Text Field, and that's going to insert the, the text ingredient. OK, after you hit Finish, then we're done here, and we can move back to the pie. So hopefully your Raspberry Pi installed everything right and there was no errors. And if it did, then you should be able to say, OK, Google, what's the laser report? And it should draw out the, we uh, the weather report on your glow sticker if it's, if it's in front of it. Um, if that doesn't work, there's some troubleshooting uh, stuff we're going to go through right now to try and get that to work. So the first step is to pull up a terminal. If you have a Windows computer, you can use PuTTY if you're on a Linux system, you can use terminal. Um, Mac is a Unix system, and I can I can use terminal as well. So I'm gonna go ssh late or pi at laserpi dot local. Now type in the password you had set in uh, pi bakery. Okay. First thing you want to do is to click ls. Um, if laserpi isn't there, um, then something went wrong in the installment. Um, so if you saw in Pi Bakery, um, there was a lot of commands that were going to be run through the, the setup process. Um, since it didn't work uh, with your Pi, you're going to have to do those manually. And those are all written out in the Pi Bakery. So let's take a look at that. OK, if we hop back to Pi Bakery, we can see that it has um, the Wi-Fi set up. And beneath that, we have the sudo app get update, sudo app get upgrade, and then sudo app get update again. Um, so what we're going to do is basically copy and paste each one of those commands into the terminal um, and run them manually. It may be a little bit tedious, but it's the only way to do it um, without Pi Bakery working correctly. Um, and, and that's all I have for you guys. Uh, if, you, if something doesn't work for you, put it in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm sorry if this video was a little bit rushed. I'm, I'm leaving on a trip uh, right now. I should have already left um, to head to my folks' place. Uh, but I will still try and uh, fix anything uh, or answer any questions while, while I'm away on a vacation. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below or message me and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can.
Um, sorry for the audio. I know it wasn't uh, perfect, but I don't have a microphone and uh, recording with my phone microphone and computer microphone kind of made for a choppy audio. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope it works for you guys. Um, and I hope I include all the links in the description. Um, so thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye.